With a boiling point of 321 degrees Fahrenheit below zero, few things are colder than liquid nitrogen. But what happens if we put liquid nitrogen in a vacuum chamber? As the vacuum pump lowers the pressure in the chamber, it also decreases the boiling point of any liquid within the chamber. As a result, our pool of liquid nitrogen is now superheated above its new boiling point, and so it boils with greater vigor. Boiling faster increases evaporation of the liquid nitrogen, and this act of evaporation cools the liquid in the same way that evaporating sweat cools our body. So as more vapor boils away, the liquid left behind gets colder. Eventually, the remaining liquid nitrogen becomes so cold that it turns into a glassy solid. And solid nitrogen is something that few people have ever seen. The solid nitrogen is now colder than 346 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. But now that evaporation has stopped, the residual heat of the metal inside the vacuum chamber begins to warm the solid nitrogen. Eventually, it will melt. But not before something remarkable happens. The randomly frozen nitrogen atoms want to organize themselves into a hexagonal lattice that is more tightly packed. We've used our high-speed camera to reveal the nucleation and spreading chain reaction of nitrogen atoms snapping into their new positions. The force of this rearrangement is powerful enough to scatter flaky bits of solid nitrogen. What you see here is infinitesimal atomic movements made visible to the naked eye. We haven't found a culinary use for vacuum-cooled nitrogen snow yet, but we're looking into it.